morning, friends and family. John Miller, your Lake Stevens Realtor, coming at you here on a January Monday, January 11th, 2021. Quite a week we've had here in, in the United States. I know we're, we're all uh, wanting to see how all this is going to be playing out over the next few weeks. So um, pray for our country and pray for cooler heads. Um, anyway, okay, so this week uh, I was uh, visiting a client up in Arlington. We had a discussion regarding nuisances and... Uh, so the real question was, what defines a nuisance? What is a nuisance when it comes right down to it? Because uh, you hear the word, but really, what is it? Uh, for our purposes, for real estate purposes, it's an external force that's adversely affecting the value of real property. And that can be a number of things. And a lot of them are pretty subjective. We're going to talk a little bit more about how that affects uh, you as a buyer or even as a seller. Uh, it can be things, you know, there's a lot of speeding through your neighborhood, traffic congestion, noise, crime, odors, uh, litter, uh, other properties that have been poorly maintained, bright lights, uh, uh, neighboring neighbors that are just problems, you know, have big wild parties till all hours or what have you. Um, all of those things uh, can uh, uh, certainly affect the value of your property. Um, I, when I list a property, I generally ask a few questions of the sellers if there are things, usually I ask about crime, um, any problems with the neighbors, the HOA, uh, and that usually kind of opens up more questions if there's a problem. And you know, if there's a, you know, when I drive a neighborhood, I, you know, it's pretty obvious if there's one neighbor who just has to take a Volkswagen apart in his front yard and, uh, you know, leave it there, and it just is real eyesore. Um, many times we're able to work with neighbors if there are people that just either having can't or won't maintain their properties. Um, Sometimes it does generate conflict. We had an incident years ago in Marysville. One of our agents was listing a property. Uh, the neighbor just wouldn't mow his lawn. It was literally three feet high. It was terrible. He had all these TV antennas. I had no idea what that was all about. Like 20 of them. He collected them or something. And it was a real eyesore. Um, he encouraged him to clean it up. He got really kind of fussy with him. Um, obviously, one of the solutions is you can go to the city, and the city will affect... Uh, that solution as well. Um, so he went by to take pictures to take them to the city and the uh, man assaulted him with a knife. It was a, a real problem. Was that actually ironically, ironically was the catalyst to solving that problem. Um, you know, on, most people aren't like that. Most people are very willing to work with you. Um, I remember uh, visiting with an neighbor. He had, there was like a hundred beer cans out in his front yard. Him and his buddies were party. And I had uh, some a crew in the area who was doing some work, and I said, "Look, I'll I'll get you the resource if you can or won't. I I have resources that I can get some guys out here for half an hour and clean up your front yard. I mean, it, and uh, he did. He actually, no, no, I'll do it, and he did it. Um, and it's those kind of things, you know, because people are obviously they're driving to the house to see it, and if, you know, if you see a neighbor that's like, oh, this just doesn't look good. Obviously, that really." is going to affect the value. It does. It really does affect the values. As a seller, you want to be aware of it. And as a buyer, uh, those are things you want to investigate. Um, and that, uh, that brings me to a lot, kind of the, one of the last points. Um, the seller disclosure statement that we have in Washington State really doesn't address any of the items that I said. Now, bear in mind, that's not an exhaustive list that I just gave you. But it really doesn't address them. The disclosure is more about the property itself, what you know about your property. Um, everything else is very subjective. I mean, as for noise, I mean, there's other things speeding. I mean, how do you judge that? Um, uh, the municipalities all have restrictions on virtually all of those. You can call the city and say, hey, you know, my neighbor won't mow his lawn and they'll come out and say, look, you, they'll, put, they'll write him a letter and, you know, they'll talk to him and they'll write him a letter and say, hey, you got 30 days to do it or we'll send a crew out and then we'll lien your property and by then most people will end up doing it. Some people, again, get fussy. I was selling a property in Snohomish some years ago and the neighboring property was a, a piece of vacant land or some acreage. And out in the middle of it there was an old Airstream tra 19, you know, 50s Airstream trailer that was in really poor condition. Um, and uh, the question then it became, it was basically it was, a, it was a nuisance and it was what we call it was also what we call an attractive nuisance. And the issue with that was um, uh, we have many of the laws we have are to, to protect children because children aren't you know they'll see that and they'll want to go play inside it or what have you even if you put a fence up or what have you uh, things like that or you know you crawl in there and who knows what's in there if there's drugs or weapons or bodies or, or whatever it is in there I mean you just you don't want kids going in there and if somebody gets hurt that's going to be on you so that was something we were able to negotiate the removal of as well 
Um, unfortunately, again, our seller disclosure statement doesn't show that. So as a buyer, you want to try to investigate, are there things in the neighborhood that are, uh, you know, are problems? Uh, man, m part of our inspection uh, contingency is a neighborhood review. I usually, I almost always check it. And it's not a bad idea to go talk to the neighbors. The neighbors will tell you. You'll get a, you'll get a very blunt reply from neighbors about what they think about their neighborhood. Uh, good, bad, good, bad, ugly, and indifferent. Um, again, the, the police can be a resource if necessary. Um, but that's, uh, you know, again, that's the onus on you. So any questions or anything, your, your agents are going to be a good re uh, resource to you. Um, and those are things that come up from time to time. So interest rates this week still screaming low, 2.65%. Um, you know, it's the new year and things are taking off. We are starting to see a few new listings out there. Buyer demand is huge right now. It's unbelievable. And we just don't have much to show to show you right now. Uh, we're not expecting a whole lot more listings uh, until the springtime, probably March or April when things return to normal. Um, at any rate, wherever you are, we love you. Stay safe and healthy as, as uh, they roll out the vaccine here over the next few months. Uh, hopefully, we'll all, uh, this will all be behind us here uh, by springtime. Uh, again, we love you, and we'll see you next week. Bye.